8. Here's Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We have the uh, Dow Industrials up 53. The NASDAQ is flat. S&Ps are up a 5.5. Gold contract down $6, trading at 11.78. We have silver down 32 cents at $15.81. Uh, platinum is flat at 10.65. Light sweet crude down 59 cents at 59 dollars and 80 cents a barrel. Bonds continue lower. Yesterday they uh, had price going lower. Today you have price and volume. They're continuing their ABC structure on the way down. We have the 10-year down 14 ticks, 125.12. 30-year off a point and five ticks at 148.18. King dollar. King dollar is up 1,200 ticks out here today. 95.74. That's on light volume. We have the euro down 186 at 111, and the yen is up 72 at 124. Now, divergence is out here in spades, folks, and what it is is this. Uh, yesterday, you had the DAX, the FTSE, all of the above up about 3.5%. We were up 5 tenths of a percent. This morning, DAX is still up uh, 1 and 3 fourths. You got the CAT up 1 and 4 tenths. Uh, bottom line, the FTSE is up uh, 0.25. Uh, our markets can't handle it. In fact, the NASDAQ is going negative. Uh, if we go take a look at our own S&Ps, what you're going to be looking at is this. If we take a look at the SPY, the SPY right now is trading out at 212.23. What we did yesterday is that we got to a price point of 212.59, couldn't handle it. If we go into the future market, the number in the future market that you want to keep your head wrapped around is the 2119.25. Uh, that number there, folks, as the market got higher, it spiked that number, couldn't hold that number. Uh, that's the number you want to keep your eye on. Uh, on the cash S&P, the cash S&P did close yesterday over its benchmark. The benchmark we're talking about is the 21.1959. That was the first high that was established on February 25th. Um, we closed out here yesterday at 21.22. 85 you know so we'll see how that handles it out here today i suspect uh heavy volatility as we go through the marketplace today you're going to see a lot more volatility the reason being is that the volatility is in the currency markets in spades out here this morning we have the Qs coming back uh 11 pennies they couldn't handle the high out here yesterday also and what we did have yesterday is this we're in summer trading we had um light volume the correlation, however, goes like this. Last Monday, summer trading, you went downtown, you had expanded volume. Yesterday, lighter volume, upside. After downtown on Friday with huge volume, what does that set up? That sets up your probability that you're going to go right back downtown. Now, bonds. What do we have with the bond market? We take a look at bonds. This is what you're looking at, bonds. Bonds had got a couple bids the last, uh, last week on uh, Wednesday, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We got up to a price point on the 10-year of uh, 126.15. Uh, we're back down, and this morning, you're backing down with a little bit more volume. You know, yesterday, we backed down on the 10-year with 1 million shares, uh, 1 million contracts, rather. Uh, this is going to go test the lows again. You know, it, it's under the B point, once again, of that ABC structure on the way down. Uh, so we'll see whether we have an expansion of volume as we get to lower price. King Dollar is the story out here today. King Dollar, up 1,200 ticks. You have light volume. I suspect King Doll is not going to be able to hold this move at higher price. Uh, right now, we're doing 34,000 contracts. That is versus approximately 80,000 contracts. Uh, so bottom line, the, the first expansion up this morning did have volume intraday. Uh, that was at uh, 0830. From that price point on, uh, no juice. So what are you expecting out here today? High volatility in the currency markets, in the bond market, as well as in the S&P. This 10 a.m. update is brought to you every day by EverBank. For more information on the products they offer, visit everbank.com forward slash TFNN. Have a great day. Have a safe day. Look forward to speaking to you right back here tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock, 10 o'clock.
If you're like me, you're always looking for ways to diversify your financial portfolio. EverBank's innovative market safe CD can help you diversify while protecting your principal deposit. In fact, EverBank unveiled a new five year market safe power metal CD, which combines the power of gold, silver, and copper. Metal prices are currently low, so this CD could really deliver. Consider the facts you get exposure to three valuable metals in one index CD and have the potential to earn up to 45% capped upside payment at maturity if the metals increase in value across annual pricing dates. And should they decrease? No worries. There's zero risk to your principal here, as you still get 100% of it back. Keep in mind, returns are based on CD performance. No annual percentage yield or periodic rate of interest is paid on the CD. Intrigued yet? The July 9th funding deadline is quickly approaching. So hurry over to everbank.com slash TFNN hyphen CD for more information, including important product details and disclosures. Once again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN hyphen CD. Everbank is a member FDIC.